Hello everyone, how are you doing today, all you scanner users? Hey Ed, glad to see you here. Hello Jason. I want to welcome everyone here. Uh, what this is, is, you know, once a week I'm going to try to come on here for a few minutes, point out some of my favorite scans, uh, help people with some of those. As far as technical questions that, you know, I may, I may, you know, depending on the question, you may, you may hear me say, that's a question for Ed tomorrow. Uh, Ed covers a lot more of the technical stuff, uh, things like that. Uh, I'm going to keep mine right to the trading uh, area. So, you know, this is our first time here today doing this. So we'll kind of play it by ear uh, and uh, we'll figure it all out. We'll figure it all out. All right, so I, I'm, I'm guessing everybody here is a scanner user. Uh, if you're not, well, I don't know why you're here then. <laughs> Be honest with you. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so if you're not a scanner user and you want to become one, let me, uh, I'm going to point, let's see, where is it? Oh, Rick, 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 Rick. There it is right there. If you want to become a scanner user, here you go. And I'm going to put this link in here for you. There you are. Also, I want to remind everybody that we're on our last month now of the $97 per month. And if you own it before July 1, you will be locked in at that price. Uh, you may cancel at any time. When I say locked in, you're just locked in at the $97 price, and you will not go up in price, and you will not be charged $147 a month, which that's what the price is going to go up to come uh, July 1. Um, so I'm also watching the market here. I mean, I'm still trading. I'm still, you know, everything is still working, so we want to be careful here. Watch the SPY. Uh, if we start to break down, that'll be a problem. But until those green dots turn red, I'm not going to be too too excited uh, about it. Uh, not until that happens. So, all right. So, scanner users, um, what do you want? What, go ahead and answer. What do you want out of trading? What do you want? What do you want out of trading? Making money is a good answer, by the way. Or any other answer you choose to put in there. Income. Eric says an income. Okay, cool. That's that's good. I like that. Anyone else? Or anyone else? Steady gains and income. Consist, consistent entry. Okay. Uh, let's see, Lauren. Keep my mind active as I get older. <laughs> Trading will do that for you, Lauren. Yes, it will. Flexible lifestyle. Mm, I love that one there, JC. Make life easier. Neil. <laughs> Neil. Uh, better timing of entries. Okay. So better timing of entries. Uh, somebody else said entries up there. Um what I'm going to do is play Sudoku. Actually, Sudoku doesn't pay you any money. So trade, and believe me, trading keeps your mind uh, crisp, no doubt. Uh, and, it, and then it can pay you some money. Let's see, Don, uh, what you call a perfect scan, what you call a perfect scan and bear. Um, I'll point a couple of those out to Don, uh, to you, Don, today. Uh, what I think is a perfect scan. Uh, let's see, RC is asking, Rick, is it possible to use LTA to determine exits? Um, yeah, actually it is. Um, yeah, actually it is. Uh, you know, and I'm going to stop right there and answer that. that that's, that's an interesting question. Um, so... Say you have, uh, let's, let me move this, let me move this over. So say you own, um, let me put this on top. 
So say you own some uh, Visa, for instance, and so you own some Visa, and if you were to set the scanner up to where you want to be notified if it makes a, say, a 60-minute two-bar low, that means in an hour's time, it's going to make a two-bar low. Um, that could be an exit, um, may, and, or maybe set it up like a 15-minute two-bar low. I would always use the two-bar low. Um, uh, you could use a three-bar low, I guess, but you might be giving too much money away. Uh, but a two-bar low um, might work, and you can set it up on an intraday chart like a 15-minute uh, 30-minute or 60-minute chart, and you may just want to be out. So, so take Visa here. I mean, see how we're up, and here it made a two-bar low. That would have gotten you out right there. But you also might it also might get you out before you really want to get out. So keep that in mind, okay? But that, to my knowledge, that's the only way it could actually work for exits. Maybe that's something I can talk with Ed about uh, and we can work on something like that. But uh, that's the only thing I can think of right now. And, and actually, I use that not so much as an exit, but I use it as a warning. So uh, for my hot list, if, when I, when, on my hot list, which also includes stocks that I own, then I can watch it like this, like a 15-minute, uh, and if it's making a two-bar low, then I know to go look at it. Uh, the same with if it's making a two-bar high and I'm wanting to get in, well, that's where I might get in something. Uh, but yeah, the, the two-bar low on an intraday time frame, I think, would, would maybe work for you. Let's see, Bal. Bal is wanting growth of capital. Uh, and preserving it. Let's see, Alan, can we get the big dog list? Absolutely. Uh, didn't we? We've sent it out numerous times, email. Um, maybe I'll talk to Ed and we can just put it on the in the scanner. We'll, we'll see. I'll let me let me chat with Ed on that. Uh, everybody wants that, and maybe we can just add it to the scanner. We'll see. Okay. Uh, can't see the screen. If anyone can't see the screen, or if you can't hear me. <laughs> uh, you have to go up and click on the arrows. Uh, reboot your system is what you'll be doing. It. Uh, you have to do it again, Jason. Uh, you just have to do it again. All right. So, so I think when we're when we're trading, what we want is to make money. That's what we that's what we want to do, right? Um, we we it's just like a job is all it is. Uh, trading is a job. It's as simple as that. And when, you know, before you, when you go to your job, what do you want? You want a paycheck. I mean, that's bottom line. You want a paycheck. And trading is no difference. Uh, trading is a job. So when you, when you want to, um, if you want to become a trader, you've got to want a paycheck. I don't think anyone trades just because it's fun. Uh, I think that is one of the benefits of trading, but we do it because we want a paycheck. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? So um, I have found, and, and everyone knows here, I've used a scanner for, goodness sakes, 25 years, 20 years. I, I, I'm going to say 25 years. Um, always hasn't been this, uh, this scanner, um, but... I have found the live trading alert scanner to be the best. And so I'm, this is what I now use. Um, and the neat thing is there's a ton of support with it. Um, an amazing amount of support. And I'm not kidding you. I, you know, I'm like you guys, you, you know, I, I, there's so many things I don't know about the scanner. And, and uh, if I need help, I just get a hold of, uh, Ed Carter there, and you know he helps me out just like he does to you guys. So, alrighty, I wanna, I don't wanna get too talkity here. So, uh, let's look at some scans. All right, the 
And now that we all know what we want, basically it's to be, to make more money or I saw some better entries, um, which it's all about trading. We want to be able to see the charts. We want, we, we want to know what's happening in the charts, right? I mean, there's 5,000, 10,000 stocks out there. There's more than you can possibly look at. So the thing about the scanner, one of the things is it drills down that list down to what you can manage and you can handle. Um, Lord, I can't handle looking at 10,000 stocks. Uh, I can no more find him with any speed at all because it would just take forever to get through uh, looking at 10,000 stocks. So um, what the scanner does is it drills it down. Um, I mean, it can drill it down to where you only see a very small handful a day if you want. Uh, you can be that tight with it. You can loosen it up and maybe, you know, you see in a day's time uh, through different alert windows. Uh, and alert windows, uh, this is what an alert window is for those that don't know. Um, you know, you maybe a hundred uh, or, again, you can tighten it up or loosen up how you want. So that brings us to another question. We know what we want. We want to make money. But now you have to know what you want in a chart. And look, that's not rocket science. I'm not asking for a lot here. I'm asking for you just to make a simple decision. That's all. Draw a picture of the chart pattern you want. Or... Pick a chart pattern. Anybody here have what they think is the killer chart right now today that you're watching? Anyone have that? What is the what is the chart? Somebody point point post one out here. What is a chart that you think is rocking? SQ. Thank you, Neil. SQ. So if you if you think this is the chart pattern that you like, then that's what you want to go after. You don't want to go after some obscure, weird, crazy, you know, you heard something on the news or you heard through the grapevine, some ridiculous chart that is not set up the way you want it. And this chart right here, this is gorgeous. This is fantastic. Um, and, and I can tell you, Neil is a scanner user. And Neil's a very good trader. Um, you, you, you watch this, you watch the, uh, post he puts out in the room and he has a very specific like, uh, if you haven't ever noticed that, uh, Leo, Neil likes stocks. It's breaking out to some new highs and he likes this type of chart pattern right here. And I, I do too. I think it's killer. Absolutely killer. So that's what we want. We only want charts like this. And SQ is alerting today. SQ was alerting, uh, what is today, Tuesday? It was alerting Monday. It was alerting Friday. It was alerting all through here. And then it's just up to us to make that, that decision. But if you, if you can't find these stocks, you can't trade them, all right? So I have some favorite, favorite windows. And let me, I'm going to, there we go. If, if you go to your, um, your main application, the LTA main application, and you click on this uh, pre-configured alerts right here, this drop down, you'll see several in there, okay? Uh, the ones I'm putting in there, they will be numbered one through five. The next one I add will be number six, number seven, number eight, and so on and so on. Um, so, and, and I urge you, don't, don't try to recreate the wheel. Um, don't do it. You know, if you, if, you, if you get the scanner, I would go to one of these favorites in here. And I would open that window up, and that's what I would use. Uh, maybe open two, maybe open three, and that's what I would use. Get comfortable. Now, at some point, you're going to want to get a little fancy, and you're going to want to get a little tricky, and you are going to want to create your own mousetrap, and I urge you to do that. I think that is, um, that is, that is uh, 
that is taking trading up another level is when you create your own mouse mouse trap. Uh, these one through five, those are my mouse traps, and you're more than welcome to have them. Uh, but everyone has a little, little, uh, oh, a little tweak on what you want to do with it, and I urge you to do that. I I also urge you not to run out and do it by yourself right from the get go. Let us help you uh, because there's lots of information here. And uh, we can just speed time up. Don't spend your time fooling around with this when it's just sim simple click and go. Um, you know, for instance, if I want this number five bull inside day above the V-stop, I'm just going to click on it like that, and there it is. I, I mean, how tough is that? The only thing you have to do is two things, really, is you have to pick what, what watch list you want. Um, unless you have your own specific watch list, then I, I would just use the CBOE 400. That, that, that's what I would use. And then you want to name it here. And I'm just going to name this uh, test uh, June 2. Okay. Uh, that's all you have to do. And right over here, a it, it brief description on what it's doing. And this is one of my favorite, favorite scans. Um, so, and in, in this scan, I'm looking for a white candle or a green candle for some folks. Sorry, I'm watching the market over here too. And uh, Spy is getting beat up a little bit. So I'm looking for a white or green candle. I'm looking for a bull trend. Um, this particular bull trend is simply the 34 EMA trending up. Um, and then I'm looking for... Uh, a certain percent above the V stop, and I go as much as seven. You can, you know, if that's too much for you, knock it down to four or three uh, or two. Um, you can certainly adjust that. And then I'm looking for an inside day, and the inside day can be any color. Um, and I'm looking, you know, a minimum of 5% there. So outside of that, that that's all I'm doing. Uh, I'm, I've got it set on daily here, um, and then I've got it set on daily down here. Now, I, I've heard some people that they a daily here, and they want an early entry, so they'll look at a 15 or 5 or 4-hour hour hourly. You know, I've been playing with that for some time, and i got to tell you, don't do it, okay? Now, that's, that's me personally. I'm telling you, don't do it. Um, don't screw around with it like that. If you set this to daily, set this to daily. If you set this to hourly, set this to hourly. There it is right there. Set it to hourly. And then be alerted just like, just straightforward, okay? Um, so we, we've named it. We've set the watch list here. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm just going to create window. And I'm going to close this out. And here we are. Uh, bada boom, bada bang. There you are right there. Um, there's the window. Um, and you can see there's five stocks in there right now that meet this criteria when, since we've asked for, uh, a new high, uh, then it'll alert when the stock makes a new high in there. Uh, so let's, I don't I want to make sure I get questions in here. Uh, let's see, Rick, do you have a little dog list for small traders? You know what, Rickster? Rickster, that's a great idea. Uh, little dogs. <laughs> I like that. Uh, list, I'm writing this down for small traders. You know what? I think we can handle that. Give give me a couple of days, and we'll do that, Rick. So that's a great idea, actually. That is a actually a fantastic idea. Thank you for that. Um, let's see here, Karen a a XOM. That's another hot chart. Yeah, that is. And you know, this is one of those charts. This this is definitely a a uh, uh, you know would have been on the uh, scanner up here. Um, 
uh, no, no doubt about it, uh, would have been on the scanner um, as it starts coming up. It's doing everything that we want it to be doing. Um, it, 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 it's like serving them to you on a platter. And then what you do as a trader, you've got to make that decision. Are you going to trade it or are you not going to trade it? That's simple as that. Um, I hear from people all the time, I only want the chart that's going to make me money. Y you need to change your thinking. That's not the correct thinking because there's risk out there in every chart. Uh, so, But you can dial the scanner in to the point where it, it gives you such high probability trades. Now it's up to you just to manage that trade and just be there just in case just in case it goes bad and then you pull the plug. But then if you set hard stops, that problem has been taken away from you. So it really is, it's just a no brainer. It really, really is. Um, can I send, can your top, can send out your top five scans? Um, IPA, did you, did you get the part that, um, if you go to the main alert screen, they're right here. Did you get that part? And then I want to ask another question. You you do have the scanner, correct? I want to make sure that you have it there. And see, Craig is asking, Rick, is there a reason that the number two scan alert type default is new high? Um, I'm going to have to go dig it out. Um, you know what? I think what I'm looking for here is charts that rally up but are coming near resistance. Now, Craig, that's that's a good question, Craig, and, and a good point. There would be no harm in checking the... In, in fact, you know what? I can do that. I, I think I have that that technology... Um, you know, before I'm, I'm gonna, I can fix that, but I don't want to do it right now. This is not the time and place, so I'm, I'm gonna wait before I screw something up. But I can fix that. But I, I think what I would do is go down and check the new low, and it, and it probably should be the new high and the new low. If you don't want to see new highs and you only want to see new lows. You can certainly, certainly check that. Thank you for bringing that to our attention, okay? Thank you. And real quick, if we could, let's take a look at the market because we're getting a little bit, a little bit bearish here. So we want to watch out. Um, VXX, look at VXX. And if VXX gets over 35, I, that's going to wake this market up. That, that, that's going to, that's going to make a statement. So we want to keep an eye on that. All right. So I just want to, like I said, during this, I'm also watching what I'm in and trading and all that stuff. So let's see, Alan, for the 3.8 three trap scan, uh, you use the 3.8 high versus the 3.8 close. Seems, uh, seems using high finds more charts than using the close. Uh, that is correct, Alan. You are absolutely correct about that. Um, what are your thoughts about the high versus close? Because I want more. I want more choices is what I want. Um, an, an, another thing, too, is when you're... Let's see here. Let me close this out. And... Um, let's take a look at VZ. Let me go to the daily... Let's get rid of all that. And let me put the three. It's like VZ. How many, without the scanner, and without the scanner, how many charts do you think you'd have to go through to find a chart that looks like that? I went to it one click, just like that. That's the beauty, one of the beauties of the scanner. Let, let me put that three EMA up there we go so now we have the trap here so your comment 
it seems like it makes it gives you more. You're exactly right, and that's exactly what I want. If if I put this on the close, 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 right there. If you're trying to find charts that's inside that narrow range, I think you're going to miss a whole lot of great looking charts. Another thing is, I think a lot of people have gotten this whole trap thing. You, you try to, the trap is the trap. It's a fantastic chart. It's a fantastic strategy when looking at charts. And we, we always try to tune things up. It's what we do. We're human. So what we try to do is we look for things that are maybe right inside that area. And I think you're really limited, limiting what you're looking at. And when, if, you, if you see this and you wait for it and it actually breaks out of that, remember, we're on the close now, okay? If it breaks out, now you're telling yourself, well, I have to wait till it's in here. So you see how you get kind of, you, 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 your mind gets a little bit crushed in this to where I want it in here. If it breaks out, well, I can't buy it because I have to buy it in here. When the truth of it is, this is an excellent buy as it breaks out. Well, a solution that I have to that, to not getting my mind all kind of messed up with that, is I just put it to the high. There you go. It's a buy inside that area for me. Um, now, I... And, and again, if it, if it was to break out, I would still look at that as a buy because we're just now moving over this candle. So I, I think when it comes down to it, it's a preference, Alan. Do you want to look at them with this being the close or with this 3 EMA being the high? It's just a choice. Um, some people make the choice that they like the 3 8 trap. Some people make the choice they don't like the 3 8 trap. It's just a choice. Uh, and I have made that choice so that I can see those charts right there. Does that make sense? Good And a good point. A very fair question. Very fair question. Um, see another question here. Puppy dog list. Um, can't find the number uh, numbered scans. Don, thank you, Ed. And I and say, Don, let's make sure you can find them. So if that... And help posted for you if, if that helped. Uh, IPA. Um, okay. Now I'm going to have to go back and get your question. You know what? I, IPA, if you'll ask your question again so I don't have to go chase it down. I've forgotten what you asked. Uh, I know you're answering yes, you have the scanner. But if you need to ask your question again, please. Uh, let's see, Dan. What about the user defined list uh, that you usually use? Is it something Ed could send us? Yeah, you know, um, we've sent that before. Um, and let, let's do this. I'm going to pull over, uh, let, let's pull over PBO V stop, okay? Uh, and I'm taking a chance here because I don't know the answer. Uh, I really am. This could really blow up. Um, and it is, it's going to blow up. I, I thought, well, maybe I had the CBO E list checked, but I've got some 513 lists. And let me tell you what I do here. Okay. There is nothing tricky about this. I take all the stocks from the S and P 500, all the stocks from the Q's, the diamonds, the NASDAQ, uh, and, um, probably some of the Russell and some of the ETFs. And I just make my own list. Um, Honestly, honestly, you, you're, you're, I think you're fighting a battle there that you really don't need to battle, okay? This is not magic. I can't, I can't, please, please, please understand that. If you were to take the CBOE list and add maybe the ETFs to it, or you can add certain ETFs. I, I don't think you should be looking at all the ETFs out there, and certainly not all that's on, on here. But if you were to take the CBOE list and the, and the, some of the ETFs, you would make a fantastic 
trade list right there. Um, now, for this, some folks are going to say, well, I don't trade Apple. You couldn't dream of trading Apple. Well, you know, you can come down here and you can set the price so it's a max. I can click on the CBOE list and I can say, I only want to see stocks that's under uh, $49. There you go, just like that. And that's going to give you stocks that meet the CBOE list 400 criteria, which that 400, it's going to meet all of this criteria, but it's only going to be stocks that are under $49. Um, so, uh, you know, again, it, all this is, honestly, is just the S. It's all the biggies here. That's it. That, that really is it. So I, I, I hope that helped. But if, if I had to push, I'm going to push the CBOE list. That's the list I would be using, r really. Okay. Um, does, that, does that help there, Dan? And if you don't like the CBOE list, and can you share why? And then, and then maybe we can help. Uh, let's see, Lauren. Well, I discovered the message alert on the scan window. I discovered the message alert. Oh, you mean the blinking uh, envelope up there, Lauren? Yeah. Let's see. There you go, Don. I think Don's getting it squared. It's valuable project to make your own list. It, it is. It, it's a valuable project. And, um, you know, Neil, I, I think all traders fall in different categories. Um there's the trader that just wants, they just want the scanner to, to, to push out some alerts and they want to go to the charts and just trade them. There's, there's, there's another level of traders that want to take and they want to look at a list because of several reasons. Maybe it has, maybe they've put together their own private list that has to do with, uh, earnings, um, Maybe capitalization, um, maybe there's a price issue, maybe a volume issue, you know, hundreds of reasons why they may want to make their own list. So that's a different level. Um, uh, so I, I agree, making your own list, it's, it's a valuable tool. Uh, it's educational to do that. But for those that don't, you know, I, again, the CBO list is where I would go. Or just trade the S and P five hundred, uh, or the or the 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 uh, Q's maybe, um, Nasdaq. You know, that that would be the thing to do. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's me. I'm not sure which one. I, I, you're you're my. You're the person that just wants to be alerted. Is that it? Which is okay. Believe me, that's okay. Uh, honestly, uh, my that's me too. Okay, I I don't. I've discovered that because I'm a short-term swing trader, that a lot of that stuff doesn't matter to me personally. So, I use the scanner. Just just show me the scan that's making the PBO. Uh, v stop, uh, you know, just show me that scan and then I'll decide if this is the chart um, that I want to look at. You know, is that the chart that I want to look at? Do I want to look at the chart that's been trending up, that's rallied, that's pulled back, that's tight right in our, 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 our trap with a very limited risk? Do I want to do that? Yeah, that's me. Exactly. Uh, so I'm with you. Okay. Let's see, Rickster, a statement more than a question. I've been using the LTA for about two weeks. I use two screens. Have to say I'm overwhelmed by the info. Scanners block blows to my monitor. Boy, do I have an answer for you. Uh, then if you click on the ticker, the scans go away. I can fix that right now for you. Uh, and back and forth. I have three screens. Maybe the hard, maybe hardest is just because it's an alert doesn't mean it's trade. 
just saying that rattling around in my head. Thank you for that, Rigster. Okay, so number one, uh, for about two weeks, I used two screens. Uh, have to say I'm overwhelmed by the Im info. Okay, uh, how many windows do you have up? And then cut them in half. Let's just do that. Let's just, just get rid of half of them. You don't need them. You do not need them, okay? Uh, number two, uh, let's see. Where was it? Oh, when you click on the ticker, the scans go away. If on the scan on the window, right click and see where it says stay on top, just click on that. Now I just took mine off. See, now when I click on this, see how it goes away, but the chart comes up. If I go over here, I can bring it right back up just by clicking on any window. But if you right click and then click on stay on top, now, now we'll do that again. See how it stays right on top? So I could, right here on my trade window, the, the trade window I use, boy, this is not giving us any alerts yet today. Um, I can just come over there and, and just click on it, and there it is, right there. So that's an easy, easy fix. If you are, I'm going to go back to your overwhelmed problem, and believe me, I get that, okay? You you should see my screen. You you'd you'd ball up in a fetal position um, if you saw my screen. Um, the 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 thing to do there is know what you want. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> know what you want. All right. Do you want? Um, RBB setups? Is, is that what you want? Do you want RBB setups? Look at that. Do you want RBB setups that are set up in the trap? Well, there you go. See, one click, I pulled one out there. Just like that. Um, and if that's your thing, then okay. There, there's nothing wrong with that if that's your thing. Um, maybe you... You, uh, I'm actually looking for something else here too. Darn it! See, my problem is I get so many up sometimes that drives you crazy. Uh, okay, so you just because just because you're what is it, Ed? Ten? You guys can get ten windows. Is that correct? Twenty. Oh my God. Just because you can put 20 windows up, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, you know, just because, uh, just because 12 beers come in a 12-pack doesn't mean you drink all 12 beers tonight, right? Um, so, so cut them back. And, and <laughs> so, so, uh, Rickster, so let's, let's do this, uh, this bullish inside day. This is, this is truly one of my favorite, favorite scans. I, I, I truly like this one. Um, I love this scan. And so let's see what we can do. Let's go to the properties. Let's go to the properties. And how can we cut this down? Now, I'm using a defined list, so but let's do this. I'm going to put it up here on the 400. So 400 stocks. Man, that's a lot of stocks to look at, right? Do you really need to look at that many? And the truth of it is, are you going to trade Amazon? No. I'm, I'm going to bet no, right? So why not come in here and say um, max price alert, maybe, maybe... 75, well, you, you, you were the guy that said, Rickster, yeah, you were the one that said you only want to look at a smaller list. So you, so you tell me, what is, what, I use low 20 to 150. Okay, so let's change this to 150 and change this to 20. So now you have just taken that 400 that list of 400 and you've done, you've chopped it down. You, you've cut it down. 
And all we have to do is click OK, and there we go. So now I'm, I'm going to let this scan through for a bit here. So now we've pulled that list down to only a few stocks. And we've asked it, uh, you know, what, we've, what have we asked it to do? We've asked it to do give us only inside days, give us a trend, uh, give us a white candle. You've really narrowed it down. If we were to click on this uh, little four right there, it comes up with a couple of charts. Let's go look at CLX. Look at CLX, except it hasn't, it, it hasn't uh, $200. It hasn't cycled through everything yet. So I rushed it. So we'll let it, we'll let it cycle through. Here, maybe I can... Scanning. Yeah, it's still scanning. <clears throat> so anyway, just because, well, just because there's 20 windows, you don't have to use 20, and you can cut your list down to whatever you want. Does that make sense? And I, I, would, I would absolutely do that. And that, that would help you um, get out of that fetal position. CLX. Uh, but that, that's a $200 stock there, Ed. Uh, let's see, yes, even considering on more monitors or 24 case of beer. <laughs> so I, what I don't want to do is spend, I, this is, I don't want to do a marathon here. So I, I want to point out these favorite scans. Does anyone have any questions on those? Any questions at all? Let's see, Alan saying, uh, that is the key. Uh, it, it will be found with the scan, but will not be alerted. Um, yeah, when it, oh, I, I, yeah, you're right, Alan. So here's SFIX. See, it's being alerted and it's $24, a $24 stock. So here we are up. Here's a pullback, right? To, it happens to be to the T line. This is, and what are we looking for? I need, I forgot now what we're looking for here. There you go. Um, inside day, any color doesn't matter. We're looking to be above the V stop, and we're looking for a trend and a white candle, right here. And th that that's going to give you more trades than you actually have money for. It really is, and. Man, I would absolutely have no problem trading that. Absolutely no problem at all. Okay, any other questions? Any other questions? I do, how many people here, does anyone here not have the scanner? Does anyone not have it? And, and does anyone not know, this is no time to be bashful, by the way, does anyone not know how to go get the favorite scans? Does anyone not know how to do that? Hello, Murad. Uh, did, did I say that right, Murad? Uh, when we come to the end of this up cycle, whenever that is, what will, be, what will we be looking for on the chart? Uh, to start hedging. Um, Murad, this is a class for the scanner. Um, if you want to come into the Hit and Run Candlesticks room after lunch, I'll be glad to, to talk about that, okay? Um, Alan is still getting used to it, like Rickster. And, and Rickster, by the way, I want to say thank you very much. I, you, you, your idea on the smaller list 
we'll work on that, okay? And and by the way, would you mind giving what do you can you define smaller price a low price to a high price? Can you define that for us? Hey, these bulls are coming back here. <clears throat> and and again, before we leave today, there is no earthly reason why somebody can't go get these these favorite alerts. So please let us know if you don't know how to do this. If you can't if you can't find the main application window, please let us know. We'll I'll show you how to find it. If you can't click on that drop down arrow, please share that with us and we'll help you out with that. Let's see. Um Alan is saying maybe you could put the big dog scan in pre-configured alerts. Let me talk to Ed on that, Alan. Dave, I have it, but don't have it up and running yet. So just learning. Uh, is this recorded? Yes, it is, and I'll have the recording out for you today. Suppose it's different for everyone. For me, it's nothing below uh, $20 and uh, up to 150 So the big dog list actually works fairly good for you. Fairly good. But we'll certainly, we'll certainly do something. Uh, let's see, Scythia, can you talk about the unusual volume uh, in the other columns? Um, can we save that for next time, Scythia? And I'll make a note and make sure we do that. And the reason I want to say that is I do not want today to be a marathon, and I want to keep it to where people watch the video, all right? Uh, but I certainly will. And I will come back and talk about it uh, in the room, all right? I will do that. So let's we'll talk about unusual volume uh, next Tuesday, same time, same place next Tuesday. How's that? Um, and I keep trying these favorite alerts, but nothing opens, just keeps scanning. Um, will uh, I, you just have to let it scan through, Don? Yeah, just let it scan through, and then Ed, Ed's gonna talk to you about that a little bit later. All right, folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here, or we could just keep going. All right, so. Use the pre-configured alerts. Use the pre-configured alerts. Don't try to create scans on your own. I'm telling you, it, it's going to make you get angry. It's hard. I'm not going to lie to you here. It's hard. But you have, to, you have to consider what the scanner is trying to do and the fact you can put so many scans together. It's tough. So if you just let us know, we can do it for you. Uh, we really can Besides, you may have the coolest idea out there, and if you share it with us, we can get it out there for everybody, uh, or maybe put it on the favorite skin or something like that. So, all right. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you very, very much, and uh, we'll see everybody. Uh, I'll see everybody in the room here after lunch, and I'll get this re recording uh, rendered and posted, and Ed will send it out to everybody uh to LTA to LTA members okay all right thank you very much and we'll see everybody next time remember uh Ed tomorrow at 2 p.m right here in this room uh Ed gets a little more technical and, and you can certainly ask questions over there okay all right we'll see you guys later thank you